Hey guys, welcome back to Filter Coffee Football for another review of the match day. This was midweek fixtures. Three of them called off. Thank you, a uh, certain pandemic going along. Uh, but we still have seven matches to report on. So let's get right into it. Tottenham Hotspur 3, Crystal Palace 0. This game was decided in the span of five minutes where Spurs scored two goals and Wilfred Zaha forgot that he was playing football and not MMA. Kane gets his third for the season, but I'm pretty sure that Lucas Moura got all the love that Conte has to give. Absolutely everywhere on the pitch today. A tame performance from Palace, while Spurs are now adding goals to their game. Looking really dangerous. Manchester City 6, Leicester City 3. For those of you who missed this incredible feast, eat your hearts out. It looked like an easy three points come halftime with Manchester City up four goals to nothing, but a flurry of three goals in 10 minutes had more than a few home fans nervous. Pep would have gone bald with stress if he wasn't already. Alas, Leicester City seemed to have run out of steam and City hammered in a couple more goals for good measure and sealed the three points. West Ham 2, Southampton 3. Another thriller where no team wanted to defend and just score bucket loads of goals. This was more of a ping pong match though, where both teams traded blows one after the other. It took COVID in order for Antonio to end his goal route. Yet it wasn't enough to secure the three points or even one point that they needed to cull their recent decline. Great win for Southampton. Norwich City nil, Arsenal 5. I mean, Norwich might as well give a 3-0 forfeit to most top half teams and probably still end a little better off than if they play all their matches at this point. Glad to see Arsenal finally winning matches they ought to be winning anyway. Top 4 to end 2021. So much for people calling for Arteta's head at the start of the season. Aston Villa 1, Chelsea 3. Reese James kept his brilliant form going with yet another goal, albeit in the wrong net. But Chelsea found their three points anyway. United have had great fortune in the past and this season it seems that the PL gods have decided to shine on Chelsea as Jorginho smashed home a couple to make the outcome look better than it actually was. P.S. Lukaku is an absolute tank with a no switch somewhere. Brighton and Hove Albion 2, Brentford nil. Brentford with a fiery first 10 minutes followed by a pretty leggy 80 odd minutes. Safety is probably guaranteed but they still shouldn't be taking their foot off the pedal just quite yet. Trossard with a pristine touch followed by a class finish and even classier celebration by Neil Mopé against his old club. Newcastle United 1, Manchester United 1. Wouldn't be a stretch to say that Newcastle probably deserved a win in this one. Rangnick opting for a more familiar 4-3-3 which clearly did not seem to work the way he wanted. Meanwhile, Alanson Maximan was having an absolute field day with this United backline. For anyone who thought that bringing a fresh face would be an easy and obvious fix, our deepest condolences. Sadly, the losers of this fixture are still Newcastle with one point just not enough despite a fabulous display on the pitch. And that was that for yet another incredible match day. We still have one more set of fixtures to come before we rein in the new year. So we'll see you then. Take care. In the meantime, please like, share, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at FilterCoffeeFooty and have a great day.